Sonic Movie 3 just got a massive update. Welcome to the place where I give you video game and movie news. For the last couple days, CinemaCon has been going on, releasing so much movie news, such as the FNAF 2 announcement and Joker 2 trailer. Well, they have revealed that a Sonic Movie 3 trailer has been shown to the people at CinemaCon, giving us a visual description of what happens in the small teaser. But before I go into the description, knowing that they've made a small teaser when filming just finished a few weeks ago, it means that a full length trailer isn't going to be that far. I say within the next two to three months, we should have a full length trailer released for the public. Now onto the visual description of the small teaser shown at CinemaCon. I'm going to be reading from the Discussing Film website since they actually go in depth more than any other source I found of what happens in the small teaser. <coughs> CinemaCon 2024 only got a very brief look at Sonic the Hedgehog 3 since it barely wrapped production. The brief teaser showed Jim Carrey's Dr. Robotnik in his lab, but he's gained weight and has let the place go to the dumps with it being full of junk. He lets his hair go crazy and now has a noticeable belly. Robotnik jokingly says that he's been binging carbohydrates. His assistant, Agent Stone, Lee Maj... What? Comes in and says, we found him. Stone presents Robotnik with one of Sonic's blue electric quills, and as he's done before, Robotnik licks it and tweaks out. He yells, let's do this, to Stone's face, which then cuts to a montage of Robotnik getting his hair cut by Stone and getting a fresh look with his game accurate moustache, bald head and depraved looking eyes. The Sonic the Hedgehog 3 footage then cuts to Robotnik and an entire gang of henchmen all armoured with laser guns, waking up Shadow the Hedgehog in a cryotube. Shadow opens his eyes, which are bursting with red electric energy. We then cut to Sonic, Tails and Knuckles facing off against Shadow in the middle of a huge city street at night. Shadow is noticeably dead silent as it's still not revealed who the voice actor is. Knuckles jokes that this new hedgehog is much stronger than the last one he faced, to which Sonic hilariously replies with, you mean me. The real money shot of the footage is Shadow the Hedgehog riding a motorcycle in the night sky over some sky skyscrapers and then using it to bounce himself towards Sonic, who is flying upwards at him at full speed. We see Sonic's bright blue power clash with Shadow's bright red energy in the night sky, looking like it's straight out of an anime. The final shot of the exclusive footage showed Robotnik and Sonic away from a ring portal on an empty road. They both look grumpy and still can't stand each other's company, implying that they're going to have to work together to defeat Shadow. Wow, that's a lot to take in. <laughs> okay, let's let's backtrack to the beginning of that. I love that Eggman is finally getting his iconic look in this film. Very different to what he looks like in the first film, showing that he's going even more mad every movie. I also prefer when a movie trilogy makes their characters grow into the iconic roles or looks. Tom Holland's Spider-Man trilogy is a great example of that. His three movies growing him into the 17-year-old comic accurate suit Spider-Man that we all love to compare to other Spider-Men, with No Way Home giving him his fresh start. So I like that they're taking their time, fitting their characters into their most iconic selves. Another thing mentioned is that Eggman and Stone have apparently been struggling to find Sonic. Even though he knew where he lived in the last movie, this probably means that Sonic and everyone has moved to a different house or a different location, which then contrasts the first film of them wanting to stay in Green Hill. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what's going on with that. On to the next bit, the fights sound so good. We have the trio from the sequel go up against Shadow, something that's not actually happened in the games. So this is an entirely brand new fight. And from mentioning it's in a city street, I predict that this is going to be where Sonic meets Shadow. But instead of it just being Sonic, it's going to be Sonic, Tails and Knuckles meets Shadow. That's just a theory though. I feel anyway, this next bit is just... I mean, Shadow with his motorcycle? I honestly did not think they would actually put this bike in the film. I thought it was a bit ridiculous to put it in the film. I've been proved wrong. It also says Shadow and Sonic are going to be flying towards each other. I think that's going to be the iconic Sonic Adventure 2 pose that we see in that game and in Sonic Generations. That bit sounds so dope. The next bit tells us that Sonic and Eggman might be begrudgingly teaming up. Now that did happen in Sonic Adventure 2, however, it wasn't to go up against Shadow. It says it implies that they're both going up against Shadow. I don't think that's the case. Since Shadow is an anti-hero and not a straight up villain, I do not think that they're going to leave him to be the final big bad of the movie. Personally, I do not think that they're going to be teaming up against Shadow because this movie's taken a lot of inspiration from Sonic Adventure 2 and in that game, Sonic and Shadow team up to go against a bigger threat. Whether they're going to go against the final hazard boss from the game or go a completely different direction, I have no idea. I personally thought that Metal Sonic was going to show up with Shadow and Sonic having to team up to defeat him so Metal Sonic doesn't have to show up in another movie making it feel like another Shadow the Hedgehog situation with bad guys, same powers. However, I do not think that that's going to be the case considering that Sonic is teaming up with Eggman so I'm gonna be shocked for whatever they end up putting for this movie and by the sounds of it so far it sounds like it's going to be P 
peak. That's all the news I have for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated with the news, rumors, and reviews.